Oh my god, it's so bad. Give it a rest, Mark. Totally a future Mark and Brian problem. There's another one. Shut up. <laughs> What's up everybody, Mark here from Remarkable Woodworks. It's a beautiful day in the six, and it's also trim day, which normally I love, but today I gotta do something I'm not quite proud of, so let's just go ahead and get this over with, shall we? All right, if there's one thing that I've noticed that all carpenters have in common is that we care deeply about things that most people would never even notice. And I'll show you what I mean. That, see that gap right there? Ugh. You see, if I built this, I tried to do something like they did up here, which is called scribing, where you just cut the profile of the brick into the wood so that you don't have to deal with these gaps everywhere. Unfortunately, that's not really in the budget. We just installed some flooring and we're redoing the kitchen right now. So Brian's gonna work on finishing up that and I'm gonna put the shoe mold in on the floor, but I'm definitely gonna try and scribe it to the brick because ugh. Think skinny, think skinny, think skinny. <sighs> okay, so another issue that I ran into was I have to trim around this really small corner, but my angle finder doesn't really fit. And I've already cut this side down so it fits in smaller spaces, but if I were to cut it down to fit into that small space, then it's basically useless. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my little nub and stick it in here. Wait. I'm gonna take the piece that I cut off of my angle finder and put it up against the short side of the baseboard. Make sure that that's nice and flush. Then I take my tape measure, I'll lock it. I'm gonna take two measurements. One's gonna be on the inside of the longer piece of my angle finder and the other's gonna be on the far side. So all I have to do is take that measurement and then I'm gonna take this measurement and make sure that they're the same. And once the measurement's the same, that tells me that I'm parallel to the baseboard and boom, I'll be left with a degree. What the hell kind of degree is that? Anyways, once I have my degree, then I can take some measurements and then pre-glue everything together and slide it in place, shoot it, and boom, it's easy. Much easier than me trying to get out of here. Ugh.
basically does it for this episode. Short and sweet, just like me. I'm just kidding. I'm neither of those things. I guess I shouldn't have said that I'm doing something that I'm not proud of. Of course I take great pride in my work, but I don't know what. Something like that bothers me so much, but unfortunately it just wasn't in the scope to redo the whole entire fireplace, so. I'm curious to know if anybody out there has a suggestion for me, please feel free to let me know. And if you like this video, please do all the things that you're supposed to when that happens, and I will see you on the next one.